All right, let's look at Travis picking. This is a pretty important technique uh, for rockabilly playing. Um, it comes from Earl Travis, Chet Atkins, Elizabeth Cotton. Um, a lot of players use it. Um, the idea here is that we have an alternating bass line that's usually happening on the bottom three strings of the guitar, and we have melody notes that are happening on the top three strings. Um, and by alternating bass line, I mean that the bass is actually changing. So it's not just playing a uh, quarter notes on one note. We actually have some kind of pattern where the notes are changing. Now you would do this with a flat pick or a thumb pick if you're a player that plays with a thumb pick. And get some kind of bass pattern. You could do that with octaves. You can incorporate the fifth. And once you got that going, you can start working in your melody notes, which are going to happen on the top three strings. So a couple ways that you could do that is by having them play on all the downbeats. You can have them play on the upbeats. And then you can start combining those things to be, uh, you know, alternate between a downbeat and an upbeat. Okay, uh, so let's look at some basic patterns that we're going to use in this chorus that are also very common, so you'll hear them in a lot of other places, and you'll be able to use them in a lot of other places. We're going to do this out of an open E chord down here, and our first pattern is going to have the melody note starting on beat two and playing the upbeat of three. And we'll just do this on the high E string, and we'll have an alternating bass line of just octave E's here. So one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Once you get that, you can move that around to other strings. You could add in different scale notes. Okay, the second pattern that we're going to do is going to have a melody happening on beat one, the upbeat of two, and the upbeat of three. So we're going to have that on the same E string again, just to make it simple, get used to it. So we have one, two, and three. Okay, that's the pattern. One, two, and three, and four. Again, once you get comfortable, move around to other strings. Add in some notes from the scale. Uh, okay, now I'd like to put both of those patterns together and we're gonna end up with a two measure pattern. So both of those together, we'll do it on just the E string. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. So you see like just by adding in notes from the scale, doing that two measure pattern, now it's starting to sound like classic rockabilly Travis picking. So you can do that for that open E chord, but you could also kind of move that around to other shapes. You can make the bass line a little bit more sophisticated and do an alternating root and fifth. Um, it's kind of a lot of possibilities for what you could do there. So take a second, get comfortable with the mechanics of it. Try it with some different chord shapes. Try it with some different alternating bass lines. It's a great technique that you could use for your rhythm guitar playing, and it also works great for lead guitar playing.